can leaders do to be compassionate? And I think oftentimes we believe that compassion is something that's warranted when something has gone wrong. And in companies, what's, this time that we're going through, we need compassion on a different level. No longer are we you know, looking for the leader to be available when there's been a crisis, but we're looking for kindness day to day. So for leaders out there, what can you do? So I, I often say it's uh, this time has thinned the veil for us to look at each other as people. And when you speak as a leader, are you letting people know who you are? Like, what are you going through? And I'm not suggesting that you, you know, offload everything to your employees, but let them know that what your circumstances are, what you've been coping with and what's been happening with your life. But on the other end, also checking in with the, your senior leads to find out how are they doing? And then more importantly, um, what is it that they need? And then in turn, what is it that their employees needs? So I think it becomes important uh, as the leader of any organization to think about how do I demonstrate compassion? And gone are the values of beliefs and, and, and the visions and the statements that we put on the walls, but how is it that we take those things off the wall and live those values and virtues day to day? So the challenge for you leaders is to go out and de demonstrate your compassion today. Maybe check in in a way that you haven't done before. Maybe something that may, would have been perceived a bit vulnerable. Try it, see how it feels, and ask for feedback from the people that are close to you. This is Roxanne Durhage of the Authentic Connection Movement. Take care and have a great weekend.